Barry, can I ask you how you first began working with Jerry Anderson? Well, I was introduced to Jerry by, uh, shall we call a third party. I had done some arrangements and compositions for Decca Record Company, which she was associated with, and um, she also was wanted to produce uh, a small three children's uh, puppet series which she'd written and as Jerry Anderson uh, just had his uh, AP Films company at this time um, she went to him to for him to make the series she'd try and get it off the ground well I think she had more or less got it off the ground with the Sociedad Rediffusion as it was then and um, when it came to music, she said she would like me to do the, you know, do the music. Uh, it was actually, in, in this particular instance, it was the musical direction and arranging. Um, a solicitor friend of hers, who was an amateur music, musician, had written sort of little themes for the, these were children sort of mm. things. So it was really virtually putting these into shape and uh, doing the musical direction and uh, the arranging and this is how I met Jerry and did the first session with Jerry for Jerry shall we say on September 1956 which is 23 years ago this year and which series would that be that was the adventures of Twizzle um, I was told that uh, you heard somebody whistle the tune and you had to write your arrangement from that. How true is that story? On that particular series? Oh, that old Torchy. No, on, on that series, on Torchy, I got the tunes just hummed, uh, I don't think whistled, but hummed on a tape recorder, um, which were accredited as being compositions of this friend of this lady's but uh, I had to put them in shape and arrange them for the orchestra and conduct the sessions on both those two series uh, that was the events of Twizzle and Torture the Battery Boy um, On one of the programs the opening sequence I'm thinking of Stingray is a very complicated thing to see visually um, do you have to look at the pictures and then compose your music, or is the pictures made to the music you've written? No. The, what they call the final print is the print that you work from. In our case, everything was done. Dialogue and visual was done only before anything. That was all. Then the music and if sound effects were done afterwards. How difficult is it to produce something like that? Well, it's like anything else in life with people. Uh, anything is not difficult if people know how to do it or if they have a flair for that particular thing. Um, in my case, music has always come very, very easily to me. It's something that I live with 24 hours a day. and. Um, I also work uh, very well under pressure. If I've got to have something ready for tomorrow morning, I would have it ready for tomorrow morning. I wouldn't have to struggle, you know, to do it. It's something that it's just something you've either got or you haven't. The opening music there from Stingray. The theme Barry is most remembered for is the now famous Thunderbird March. I went on to ask if this was his particular favourite. Uh, it's one of them, but of course, um, I've done 12 series with Jerry. Um, my favourite, shall I say, opening title from all the series was a series that's very, very little known. It was a series that was only shown on, I think, Midlands TV. A series called, it followed, um, uh, Joe Ninety. Secret Service. Secret Service. 